And I don't want the world to see me My balls just explode in my hands Breaking news! News brought to you by... I don't know what's going on. Guys, today is a sad, sad day. We have lost a soldier. The other week we lost Snoop Dogg and he got resurrected, but he's back. He's alive, but this. Guys, we have lost a fallen soldier. Oh. E3, Electronic Entertainment Expo. You've probably known it for its great quality memes and diversity, but god damn, son, god damn. A sad day. E3 has been infiltrated by terrorists and murdered, shot dead, blown up, killed, burnt alive, however you want to say it, it's gone. And so, well, I suppose that's it. Thanks for watching. No, what are we gonna do about it? E3 was home of cringe, and I have found the greatest cringe, and we are going to relay these incredible moments. So strap yourselves in, guys. It's bumpy. Let me put it like that. It is a roller coaster with no seatbelt, no safety precautions, and you end by flying into a wall and dying. That's how crazy this is. Play it, dog. We're at E3, and uh, I just wanna say this place is the only place that makes the guys at Comic Con look like Ocean's 13. I don't really get that. It's Jesse Wellens and I am a YouTube creator. So, I am here. Can we all just remember this is one of the most disgusting videos ever put out onto the internet. I'm pretty sure this ruined his career. I've never seen the man since. Has anyone seen him? Have you seen him? You know where he went? Is he even alive anymore? Jesse Wellens, what did he even do? To talk about Need for Speed, um, Payback. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Need for Speed Payback. He's got the personality of a snail that's been stood on by a fucking disabled granddad. It's just not there. He cannot even hold up a conversation and bullshit, bro. If this was me, I would be like, Yeah, bro, Need for Speed. You have the need for speed, bro. Yeah, come on, clap. Yeah, you know, exactly. You're immediately more engaged. You already love it. I'm, but, um... <laughs> Fucking retard. I got it. I, we have enough reference now. Please stop sending those pictures. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Not the radar. <laughs> kind of he looked really serious then. Look at him. Stop sending those pictures. Thank you. <laughs> he looks fucking fuming. The guy on the left just laughed. <laughs> One is, I think, very effective in the, the world of my own rabbit. So, should do well. Jeez, I think I died just watching that. Yes, so the guns are do very well against the rabbits. Yes, you shall be able to blast them into the sky. Yeah, you like the odds? Big guns. Oh, ah, okay. Everything we hope, everything a new hope to see in this Road to E3 <laughs> report. Check it out. Fuck. Uh, that was rough. Hey. My name is Joseph Varis, Faris, and I'm the writer that- He didn't even know his own fucking name, bro. See and taste you too, you, you get around the back of a battle mech and penetrate. Oh, God. <laughs> you get behind the back of a mech and you penetrate. Penetrate, dog. So, Doug, welcome back. Hello. Thank you. Dude, I recognize her. Where do I know her from? That is my best friend from high school. No way, dog. It's awesome to have you. But listen, before we get into VR, I really wanted you to tell me a little bit more. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> He's just... <laughs> About that, I'm a big sports fan. So let's go, sports fan. <laughs> they just can't help themselves. This may be the most poorly funded piece of shit I've ever had to view. Oh my god, they just don't put the money in. The microphones aren't even switched on. They have these fucking awkward like... Yeah, I grabbed the tree, yeah. And then you, they can grab their trick. Mm -hmm. And we hope one day, Jamie, you get to grab a trick. Hey, I grab, <laughs> I grab tricks every Friday. Yeah. That was fucking painful. I'm so ready to kill myself. Now, I don't really know how to do it. I was thinking maybe bleach, but I feel like that, I don't know, it just takes too long. So I think I'm just gonna go, like, tie a weight to my ankle and, like, jump in the sea. I think that's a cracking idea. But I have one more thing to announce. Coming this year, Paggle 2! He's definitely just pulled his ass cheek muscle doing that. He has never, ever, ever done that much exercise in his entire life. Yeah. 
this this clip is a prime example as to why gamers should not be given a microphone or a stage presence. They just can't deal with it. They clearly lose the ability to think, formulate sentences. They go a bit crazy. They think, oh, they get this almost power grab. Maybe that's why we love video games. We love that power to pretend the false idea. Two years ago, we launched Star Wars Battlefront and we got a lot of feedback. You deem her a shit, lad. It was fucking dog shit. A lot of it positive and a bunch of it constructive. It's a euphemism for not as positive. Yes, right? Yes. Yes. That's some dog shit right there. Fucking Battlefront 2. I, I actually bought that game. This was a time where I didn't have many crusty clams, you know what I mean? I had to uh, be sparingly with what I spent money on. And boy, oh boy. Ugh. God, it was so bad. I remember it. Did they make it free in the end? I don't remember. I'll tell you one thing I did like, though. The campaign wasn't terrible. I remember going to a planet with Luke Skywalker and she like, that man dagged out. She was cool as fuck, man. That was, she was... Everyone was so sweaty on it. I can never do anything cool. Like, you know, all these big lightsaber fight, you know, and what's no good. Pushing the envelope of what Silent Hill has been known for. Silent Hill has helped shape what horror games are meant to be. So we're borrowing influences from what the... <laughs> Look at how close he is. Why the fuck is he doing that? You like this gamer hasn't had someone come this close to him in so long. He doesn't even know how to react. He's just like, what do I do? Human being, contact close to me. Oh my god, help me. Executed in the past. The what's, it, what's he doing? Bandicoot is finally coming back. End of this month, we're gonna get a chance to see him. So let's take a look at a new trailer from the Insane Trilogy. Check it out. Wow, what a trailer. This is amazing. Nope, we're on camera. Having just watched that, ladies and gentlemen, obviously E3 is dead. And I kind of can't help but think it's a good thing, to be H. I think it needs to stay dead and buried. They clearly weren't serious, no one gave a fuck, and they've ruined it. The cringe compilations are just hard to watch. They kill you, they break you inside. Oh, God. I just mean, like, come on, guys. Come on, it's just been so bad. Oh, my God, have you also seen fucking Andrew Brawher, Brawher has died. Captain Hull is dead. I am absolutely heartbroken that shit hurts i want to see his full oh i can't watch you can't watch that on youtube i honestly i'm gonna watch that later seriously guys that shit is heartbreak hotel i mean rest in peace andre but on back onto this see it's get distracted like a fucking bird and guy mate but oh god e3 rest in peace never like it's just hilarious isn't it it's just dog shit <laughs> It was just cringe. I mean, yeah, this was cool. No, you're awesome. Thank you. That was cool. That was real cool. But yeah, rip.